Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window. Today we're gonna be doing another Overwatch. Here you can see the suspect seems to actually be bunny hopping his way over here towards Long. He's got seven kills, 107 damage around with an 85% headshot percentage. And yeah, he definitely seems to have a bunny hop script. I mean, he had several hops there. People just can't do it that consistently, I don't believe. Either way, he's gonna make his way over here towards middle. Check up here towards the window. Doesn't spot anyone out immediately. One guy is going to be pushing. He's going to switch over to his pistol. And he's going to spray down Flamingo. Alright, one guy to the left of door out there. And one guy down here to the right. He's going to throw an incendiary grenade over here to the right. It's pretty typical for people to do that. Doesn't really land in the best of spots. But uh, he's going to throw some flashes in. Smoke and come out. He checks down below the window. He's able to take that guy out. One guy here on platform. He's going to spray at him. But he's not able to kill him guy over at window he's able to take down he's gonna reload and he's got one guy left but he's not gonna have time to defuse that bomb good round for him regardless a uh, little jump there i think that's because of the bunny hop script that he's using and it looks like he's gonna hop his way across here over towards the middle and now he's gonna be redirecting back towards a couple more hops coming in it looks like Gonna throw a smoke here at long, followed by a flash. Another higher flash, kinda gets his teammate with that, and throws an incendiary grenade. Looks like he's aimed on Flamingo, but he's not gonna take the shot. Might not know he's there. He's able to get one guy as he pushes through the smoke. One guy up here on catwalk. And he takes some shots at this guy at long. Nice little deagle headshot. And now he's in a 2v2 situation, one guy in sight. Looks like he spots him out for a moment. And he actually gets tagged quite a bit right there. One guy dropped in the CT spawn. He's able to take down Dart. He heard the shots from that guy. And now he's checking up towards Sight. Isn't quite able to spot him. He did hear him shoot that one bullet. His teammate takes a shot. And it looks like he's just kind of aiming over at him through the wall. Look at that. He's aiming right at him through the wall. Gonna make his way over here towards Catwalk. Alpha takes down his teammate Manatee. Couple of hops coming in. And he's in this 1v1. That guy's got an auto sniper. Alpha's holding, waiting for to peek out Catwalk. Eh, Alpha's got three kills. Does spot him coming up the ramp. He has the bomb, he's gonna try to plant it. Suspect takes a couple shots directly on him through the box, but is not able to connect, and Alpha is able to get that final kill. Alright, so, score is 4-4. Four to four. Suspect's got 14 kills. Definitely leading his team, look at that. Looks like the bomb is making its way over here towards the B site. I'm gonna throw a flash, looks like. Game's preparing for it, throws it over the box. It actually does get one guy, though. I don't think it got the guy that he was trying to get with it. He's able to get a nice little one dig, and Eclipse gets that next kill. All of a sudden, they're in a 2v1 against Alpha again. Alpha's able to take down one, and the suspect's going to flank around behind him and take him down. All right, so he's got 16 kills, 158 damage around with a 75% headshot percentage. It does look like he's using a, a wall hack here, and also a bunny hop script. As far as I can tell, not an aimbot, but he is getting a lot of deagle headshots. And while a lot of people can do that, well, not a lot of people, but a few people can do that uh, because he is using those other cheats. I'm going to pay a little more attention to his aim, try to make sure that he's not using an aimbot on this. I'm going to throw a smoke up here towards Catwalk, followed by a flash to keep them from pushing up. Another flash goes over, and well, he's got into sight, but it looks like they're actually going to be falling off catwalk. It's a 2v4, so him and his teammate really are going to have to rotate over here to the B site. Looks like the suspect knows that they're rotating off, so he's kind of flanking him. Uh, he's able to take down Cyclone in middle. His aim does not really look like hacks. I mean, if you keep watching it, it doesn't look like he's using an aimbot. At least that kill in middle didn't. There goes my dog. Barking as usual, and uh, suspect's gonna make his way up here towards Catwalk. He's gonna throw a flashbang off of the wall. 
Peeks out. Nice headshot onto Flamingo. One guy jumps up there. Seems to catch him off guard a little bit. He's able to tag him. He's gonna re peek and try to get this dig. Nice dig shot to the chest. One guy in lower B tunnels. He is able to tag him. Guy's down to 50 HP now. It's a 2v3. And the suspect's just kind of holding up here, seeing if the guy's going to re-peek, but he's not going to. He does have bomb here on catwalk, so you know he's going to have to come from one side or another. But it looks like he's going to try to do this a little more aggressively. He's peeking over the top of this ledge. Going to drop down and flank Cyclone and CT spawn. All right, so 11 rounds. This is the 12th round. And, you know, six to five, he's got 20 kills. That's quite a few. I'm gonna throw a flashbang here in the middle, followed by another one. And he knows he's over here to the right. He just kind of straight up peeked him. He wasn't able to hit the scout. He was able to kill him with the deagle. This deagle is definitely on point. One guy creeping up catwalk. He knows he's coming. He's going to get ready with this flashbang, and he's going to try to throw it, even though he kind of fell off by accident there. He is able to tag him with that flash, but not well enough that he can actually finish him off. All right, looks like now he's going to be watching B. One guy does peek out. He's able to take down Flamingo. One guy over here to the left. Flashbang's going to come in. He's going to turn away from it. That was good. Pushing his way down here into lower B tunnels. Spots out that guy's gun. And he's going to take him down, but another guy's going to peek out on him. And he is able to take him down with his 5-7. Last guy's up in top mid. His teammate tags him. He throws that nade. Ooh, that almost connected with him. Guy re-peeks on him and is able to take down the suspect. A little timeout is called. I'm going to throw a flash in the mid. And he's going to push his way straight up middle. Looks like he's actually going to be able to take this guy out over at long if he decides to go for him. Keeps looking at those walls. And he spots him out. His teammate's able to take him down. Not sure why he didn't fire at him, but it really did feel like he knew he was there that entire time. Now these other three guys have taken B control and actually pushed out into mid. Bomb is down in T spawn, so they kind of have to fight for this round. Their only chance is if they kill all the CTs. Gonna spot this guy out in CT spawn. Dart wasn't able to connect with him. Suspect takes a couple shots towards his head and he's able to finish him off. So that means that Cyclone is the last terrorist alive and he's gonna try to go all the way back for the bomb. It's, I think, or maybe it looks like he's actually redirecting back into tunnels. Maybe he's worried they have terrorist spawn. Though he should know that one guy is over at A. I'm not sure if he knows where the other guy is. So. Suspect's doing some B hops here, going from one side to the other. It looks like he's just hopping for fun. Cyclone comes out middle and takes down Diamond. Still doesn't have bombs, so with 35 seconds left, his best bet is to try to kill the suspect, I think. Either that, he's going to try to get the bomb, and I don't know if he'll have time to get to a site. I just don't think he will. He's got 23 seconds. Can he get to some site and plant that is the question. Suspect staying over here at B, which is a good call because obviously you can see the terrorist is coming in. 13 seconds, 12, 11, 10. It's going to be very close. Suspect's actually running away from the site. And he does have time. He lets him get the plant. Now he's taking some shots at him. Connects with a bullet there. This is not a good fight. Suspect's holding this right side of the box. Creeping in. Guy's working his way around the left. And he actually gets taken down. Alright. Let's go through this, guys. 
Uh, as for aim assistance, I looked at his aim and, and he hit a lot of one digs here and there, but honestly, I don't think he was using any kind of aim bot. I really think that more than anything, it was just the wall hacks were assisting him because he could premeditate the shots. Which brings us to vision assistance. He was using wall hacks. He was looking at that guy in sight over at, at A, right through the wall, just kind of aiming straight on him. Too many times he was just coincidentally aiming at walls that are just walls you don't really aim at. Like when he was coming up through middle, through uh, speedway, he looked at the guy through the wall at long while he's coming. You know, it's just a bunch of stuff like that, which wouldn't make any sense unless he was wall hacking. So I'm to say evident beyond reasonable doubt. Other external assistance, he was using a bunny hop script, so evident beyond reasonable doubt. And that last round could kind of be griefing. He knew the guy was coming towards him and he decided to fall back off of it and even let him plant. But, you know, I don't I, I don't know if that's enough evidence of griefing to call that. Either way, he's going to get banned for life. So I'm just going to give him insufficient on that final one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and have a great day.